بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم uh, This is the first example for weighted average cost of capital It has mentioned the following is the capital structure of A limited This is the capital structure These are the source of funds These are the source of funds Equity source of funds How much is provided by equity? 2 million is provided by equity And how much is cost of equity? Cost of equity is equal to relevant percentage How this 2 million is provided or 20 lakh like is provided? For this purpose, 200 shares are issued at the price of 10 each. That is the first source of capital. This company also has issued preference share capital. How much is provided by preference share capital? 5 lakh like is provided by preference share capital. And the cost is equal to how much? 8%. Costs are directly given in the question, right? And for issuing or for raising 5 lakh, of preference share, how many shares are issued? 50,000 shares are issued at the price of 10 each. Next source of fund which the company has is return earning. How much is from return earning? 1 million is from return earning and the cost is equal to 11 percentage. And the next source of fund which the company has is, of course, 9 percentage debentures. And how much is from debenture? Of course, 1.5 million or 15 lakh is issued through the debenture. And the price of each debenture is equal to how much? The price of each debenture is equal to 1,000. So it means this company has equity, preference, return earning, and debenture in their capital structure. And the value of each one is mentioned here. This is the value, this is the value, this is the value. So remember one more thing that these values which are given here are basically the book value. What, what, what value? Basically the book value. So these are basically the book value of, of this source of funds. So the book value of source of fund for equity, book value of source of fund for preference, for return earning, as well as for equity. Also below, there is some short information regarding the market value of each source of funds. Presently, the debentures are being traded at 94%. It is book value is equal to how much? Book value is equal to 15 lakh. It means that is 100%. But the book value, uh, the market value is less than that. So market value is 94%. So we have to reduce it. Preference shares are at par. Preference shares at par means whatever is in the book, that is in the market as well. And the equity is equal to, the price of each equity is equal to 20. How much is the price of equity in the book? The price of equity in the book is to 10. But in the market, it is 20. <clears throat> but remember one thing that, there is no price for there is no price for for a return earning in the market. Whatever price is available in the market for equity, that price is applicable both for both for return earning as well as for what for equity. It means this price of twenty which is given here, this twenty is for return earning as well as for equity. So we have to find out or we have to basically divide between these two. How we can divide it, let us wait how we can do it. And then, of course, find out the weighted average base of capital based on the book value as well as based on the market value. So how we have to calculate it? Let us first calculate as per the formula or as per the steps. So first of all, we have to, we can say assign the weights. We have to assign the weight based on the book value as well as we have to assign the weights based on the market value. If this is so, first of all, let us assign the weight based on the book value, right? So let us mention here, assignments of mm, assignments of weights based on, based on what? Based on book value. Assignments of weight based on the book value. How we can assign the weight based on the book value? Total of each capital divided by uh, each capital divided by total of capital of the business. How we can find the total capital of the business? Total capital of the business is the summation of all. It means the summation of all these source of funds, all these of all of these. It means from here to here, right? We have to find. See how we can find out this one? Two million plus uh, we can say. Uh, Half million, it became 2.5. 2.5 plus 1 became 3.5. 3.5 plus 1.5 become 5 million. Or otherwise, 20 lakh plus 5 lakh, 25, 35, 35 plus 15 become 50 lakh. 50 lakh or 5 million is the same. 
So the total capital of the business is equal to 50 lakh. So out of this 50 lakh, how much is belong to equity? How can you find out? Let me find out this one here. So. Equity share capital, right? Equity share capital. Equity share capital is equal to how much is the total of equity? Okay. Total of equity is equal to 2 million divided by divided by how much divided by 5 million which is equal to 40 percent next one after this one is preference share preference share capital preference share capital is equal to 5 lakh divided by 5 million right which is equal to 10 this 40 means out of the total capital, 40 percentage is provided by equity. Out of the total capital, in this case, 10 percentage is provided by, by preference. Next one is retained earnings. Retained earnings equal to how much? How much is retained earnings? 1 million divided by 5 million, which is equal to how much? 20 percentage. It means 20 percentage is provided by retained earnings. And the next one is the venture the venture the venture is equal to 15 lakh divided by 50 lakh which is equal to how much 30 percentage so these are the percentage 40 plus 10 become 50 50 plus 2 20 70 70 plus this one become equal to how much 100 percentage right so now these are find out now let us apply the rest of the formula in order to calculate the cost of equity the cost of weighted average cost of capital. So in order to calculate the weighted average cost of capital, a few more steps are remaining that we have to do it. First of all, mention source. Sources. It means source of fund, right? Uh, mention. Okay, sources of fund. Then mention, of course, uh, amounts. How much is the amount of each? Then mention, of course, weights. How much is the weight of each? And then mention, of course, cost. And after that, of course, mention weight into, into cost. These two columns should be multiplied to each other, right? Okay. Let us increase the font size. Okay, that's fine. Now mention the source of, source of fund. Number one is, of course, equity. Equity capital. Equity capital. And equity capital, how much is the amount of equity capital? The amount of capital, equity capital was 2 million. That is then. How much was the weight that we have calculated before? It was 0 0.4. Okay, that is then. How much was the cost of equity? Cost of equity directly given in the question. It is L1 percentage, but in the sale of L1, you can mention, for example, 0 0.11. Otherwise, you can mention L1 itself, right? No problem. So mention, for example, L1 percentage, right? L1. And of course, this should be in the form of percentage. Now you can multiply these two columns. How can you multiply? You can multiply these two. L1 multiplied to 0 0.4. You get equal how much? 4.4. Otherwise, you can multiply. Then, the next one is preference. Preference. Preference capital. Right? Preference capital is equal to how much? 5 lakh. How much is the rate? The, the weight, weight is 0 0.1, right? 0 0.1. How much is the cost? Cost is equal to 8 percentage. Cost is equal to 8. If you multiply this one into this one, you get equal to, you get equal to how much? 0 0.8, right? That's it. Next one, find out cost of return earnings. Return earnings. How much is return earnings? The return earning was amount of 1 million. How much was the weight? Weight was 0 0.2. How much is the cost? Cost is equal to how much? L1, right? Percentage. If you multiply this two, you get 2.2. Right? 2.2. Of course, these are the percentage. This is also percentage. This is percentage. This is also percentage, right? So why? Because these columns are in the percentage. Percentage and of course this is also a percentage. Why? Because one is percentage and the next one is weight. If you multiply directly, you get percentage. And the last one is the venture. The venture. How much is the total the venture? 
it is this much and how much is the cost the weight weight is 0 0.3 and how much is the cost cost is 4.5 now you can multiply 4.5 into this one if I'm not wrong so let me multiply here itself 0 0.3 into 4.5 press the equal sign to get some value it is equal to how much it is equal to 1.35 of course that is also in the form of percentage right so that is done now please find that the total of all 4.4 plus this one plus this one plus this one how much is the answer 4.4 plus of course 0 0.8 0 0.8 plus what is the next 2.2 .2 plus 1.35 and it is equal equal to how much equal to 8.75 so 8.75 is basically the weighted average cost of capital it is what it is basically the weighted average cost of capital so here you can mention for example this is equal to WAC weighted weighted average cost of capital so in this example weighted average cost of capital based on book value is equal to how many percentage 11.75 percentage now let us calculate the assignments of weight based on the on the market value right so here let us mention let us mention assignments of weight based on based on market market values this is, so we have to find out this one itself so let us calculate so assignments of weight based on what based on market value so let me expand this one a little bit and of course select this one make it bullet select only this part and make it bullet okay now assignments of weight once again you have to find out weights for all of these but first of all you have to find out the market value of each source of one for example the first one find out for preference 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 share capital preference share capital see for preference share capital it is very simple it is mentioned for preference share capital okay the market value of preference share capital is at par if mentioned it is at par it means whatever was the amount of preference share in the book it is also in the market so that is why it is equal to amount of how much amount of five like that is done for the venture it is also not much complicated for the venture in the book it is 15 lakh but in the market it is 94 percentage of 15 lakh see it is 94 percentage of 15 lakh so you can do like this 15 lakh right multiply to 94 percentage so whatever is the amount that is basically the market value of the venture why sometimes it can be sometimes it can be more than this one sometimes it can be 110 in that case it means in the market it is in the premium but sometimes if it is for less than 100 it means in the market it is in the form of discount right if it is mentioned at 100 it means it is at par so whatever is mentioned in the case of in the case of preference if it is mentioned at par or it is mentioned at 100 it means market and book is the same if it is mentioned less than 100 it, it means at the market it is in discount or if it is mentioned more than 100 it means in the market it is at premium so that is regarding the venture now let us find out the value of equity equity plus return earning plus what return earning so whatever value is given in the market for example how much is given the market price of the share it is given the equity shares are at 20 per share in the market so price of each share is 20 multiply to how many equity shares we have we have 200 equity shares so multiply 200 equity shares 200 so 200 press the equal sign you get some value how much is the amount 
amount is equal to 4 million. So this 4 million should be divided between equity as well as, as, well as return earning. Equity and return earning is equal to 4 million. So this 4 million should be divided between return earning and equity. How can you divide it? Let me divide it in this ratio. Return, first of all, equity. Equity is equal to how much? And of course, the second one is return earning is equal to how much? Return earnings are equal to how much? Or on which proportion? The question is that basically, on which proportion we should divide the this amount of four million between equity and between equity and return earning? This four million basically will be divided based on the ratio of their book value. What value? Book value. See the ratio of their book value. Ratio, this one is two million, and this one is equal to how much? One million. 2 million plus 1 million become equal to how much? 3 million. Now, if we want to divide between these two, you can say, for example, return earning, return earning, make 1 by 3 percentage of out of the total equity. Let me explain it this way. Okay, let me remove this part. In order to understand it in a better way, let me do one more thing here, right? First of all, let us find out the total of, the total of equity, Plus the ten. Okay. Equity plus the ten earnings. The ten earnings in the book. How much is the value of these two in the book? The value of equity is two million plus the value of return earnings is equal to one million. If you press the equal sign, you get equal to three million, right? So the book value of equity and return and next make made three three millions. Out of the three million, one million is belong to return earning, right? And of course, two millions are belong to what? Two millions are belong to equity. If you want to make a ratio between these two, you can say in the total capital, in the total of this one, it means in the total. In the total of this one. 1 by 3, not 1 by 3, 2 by 3. 2 by 3. It means 2 portion is belong to equity. 2 by 3 is belong to equity. In this same fund, how much is belong to return earning? 1 by 3 is belong to what? Belong to, belong to return earning. Why this is so? Because the total fund of the business, total fund from equity and return earning is 3 million. Out of 3 million, how much million is belong to equity? 2 by 3 is belong to equity. It means out of 3 million, 2 million is belong to equity. In this case, in the case of return earning, out of 3 million, how much is belong to equity? Belong to return earning? 1 million is belong to return earning. So this proportion of contribution of equity and return earning in the book of value in the book in the book of account or in as, as per book value can make a ratio in order to uh, in order to uh, classify this amount of 4 million between the returning return earning and, and equity it means this amount of 4 million should be basically divided between equity and return earning based on this ratio 2 by 3 should go for equity and 1 by 3 should go for what for return earning if this is so this is very simple you can do it how we can do? We can do like this. 4 million multiply to 2 and it is divided by, by 3, which is equal to this much. Which is equal to how much? Okay, whatever is the amount. Which is equal to this much. So, next one. How to find that for what? For a, for a 10 ending now. For a 10 ending, once again, this amount of 4 lakh multiply to how much is the proportion of this one? 1. 1 should be divided by how much? By 3. If you press the equal sign, you get this much. Right? Why this is so? Okay. Let us. Okay. 4 million multiply to 1. It is divided by divided by 3. If you press the equal sign, you get this value. I don't know why it should like this. It should also be 3. Okay, it means it is 
we can say unlimited r unlimited tree so that is why dimension it as well at this one so otherwise you can mention three 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 right in this case there is unlimited basically sex so that is why it mentioned like this so these are this proportion is belong to equity and this proportion is belong to retention right so now we have basically provide or we have calculated the assignments if this is so now let us calculate the weighted average based on the book value copy this one and paste it here right? equity please change the source of equity how much is belong to equity how much is belong to equity this is basically belong to equity okay uh, how to calculate it okay they have shown in different way but let me calculate it with calculator here right so let me calculate here 4 million multiply to 2 and it is divided by 3 right you get this value so this is the value that you can mention right so how much is the value okay this is the value copy from here and mention the value of this one itself that is it right or instead of last one you can mention seven itself and the same now you can mention the value of return earning as well you can do it with the calculator you make it zero again four million multiply to one and it is divided by three right again the same so how much is this one itself this is a copy and paste it here itself so remove the last one now if you add this two you will get the value of return earning right mention return return earnings return earnings how much is the value of preference this was the value of the preference that we have mentioned okay one part is missing that we will calculate it how much is the value of uh, this one uh, the value of the venture the value of the venture is equal to oh, where's the venture the venture is this much itself 14 lakh 10,000 14 lakh 10,000 so one thing uh, that we missed to find out the weights right it's still weights are not calculated yet so keep it aside here first of all we have to assign the weight it's still we have found the value of this one itself we have found the value itself not the weight so now we want to calculate the weights how to calculate the weight but first of all you have to find out the total of all these source of funds this one plus this one plus this one plus this one become equal to how much so we need to find out the total of all the source based on the book value based on the market value we know total of equity plus return and it become 4 million this one plus value of this one become 14 lakh 10,000 plus how much is the value of return uh, preference that is equal to 5 lakh we can mention 5 lakh that is equal so now the total value of all source of fund is equal to amount of how much uh, 5 lakh 5 million okay I think there is a little bit confusion let me calculate it once again no it is I think it is fine so it become 5 million nine lakh ten thousand right or we can say fifty nine lakh ten thousand so the total capital become equal to how much you can mention here fifty nine lakh ten thousand the total of all become fifty nine lakh nine lakh ten thousand how we can calculate the weights for each of them so uh, you can change this title uh, you can mention assignments of weight and instead of assignments of weight you can mention for example market value of each source of fund right let me delete it from here I'll take a copy and now mention the value here in a set of this one let me mention here market value of each sources of fund each sources of fund right market value of each sources of fund which can be calculated now right so first calculate for preference for preference preference equal to how much 50 5 lakh 5 lakh divided by 5 lakh 59 lakh 10,000 right that's the equal sign you get some weights after this of course find out for the ventures the ventures the ventures equal to how much is the value of the venture this is the value of the venture you can mention 
14 lakh 10,000 and of course that has to be divided by uh, that has to be divided by 59 lakh 10,000 right press the equal sign you get a weight and after that of course you can give a weight for equity as well weight for equity is equal to how much was the weight for the value of equity this was the value of equity two okay then six 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 seven divided by divided by how much by 59 lakh 10,000 the total market value right so this is the total market value 59 which is equal a sign of this percentage and of course find out for return error links as well return earnings equal to how much one three 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 divided by 59 lakh 10,000 you give a weight as like this now the weights are clear for each source of funds source of funds are given weights are also clear we have to find out the weights find out the weights put the weights here let me remove this part now put the weights for the source of funds first one for equity for equity it is equal to how much for equity it is equal to this much the next one is for preference for preference it is equal to this much okay next one is for return earning for return earning it is this weight these are the weights that we have calculated based on the book on the market value and last one is for the venture where is the venture the venture is basically here so so we have to find for the venture as well so these are different weights for different source of fund based on the market value now you can multiply these two rates you get the weighted average cost of capital multiply this two multiply this two multiply this 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 and so on how we can multiply simply you can multiply here right l1 multiply to 0 0.4512 if you press the equal sign you get some value right mm, okay equal sign you get the value what is the value the value is this one four pine nine six three two and of course that says percentage the same you can find out for the next for example the next one is eight eight percentage multiply to but don't take it eight percentage right now just take it the complete number multiply to zero point zero eight four six press the equal sign and you get the value value is equal to how much zero point six seven and of course six eight right that is the value and the same you can find out for the next it is hello one multiply to how much is the ratio the weight weight is two two five six right press the equal sign you get a value that is equal to how much two pine four eight one six and of course this is also in the form of percentage and the previous one is also in the form of percentage find out the last one 4.5 multiply to 0 0.2386 press the equal sign you get a value it is equal to how much this one so that is one pine mm, one pine zero seven three seven right this is the value so now you can do one thing you can take the sum up of all these values right so let me remove this part this one let me remove from the first part this part this value plus this value and of course plus plus this value and as well as uh, plus this value now press the equal sign you get some percentage whatever is the amount amount is equal to how much 9.1 uh, we can say 9.53 percentage so this is basically the weighted average cost of capital based on the market value this was the weighted average based on the book value and this was the market weighted average cost of capital based on the based on the uh, book value uh, market value this was book this is market this is basically the average cost of capital of the business. 
Also, we can call cost of capital. Also, we can call rate of return. If you remember in uh, cost of, in, with, in capital budgeting, uh, we found uh, IRR. So basically, that is IRR itself, weighted average cost of capital. And that is not IRR. Basically, IRR should be compared with this one. When you find out IRR, IRR should be compared with the cost of capital or, or with the required rate of return. If IRR is greater than this one, accept the project. If IRR is less than this one, then reject the project.